Hi, welcome to the Cashflow Masterclass. I'm John McGregor. And in this short time we have together, I'm going to show you how to generate consistent cash flow and capture profits using a simple strategy in a fraction of your time. And I will add that anyone can learn. And I want to show you how powerful yet simple options can be. And my goal here is to show you this system in as close to 35 minutes as I can. And I'm going to do my best because I'm sure you have a lot on your plate. And I like to get to the point and not drag this out unnecessarily. But before we dive in, let's get to the legal disclaimer if we could, and please pause this and read through this thoroughly. It's really important you understand the risks involved in the strategy, and that I'm not giving investment advice, and that this is for educational purposes only. So please take a moment, pause this, and read through this. Thanks. So let's get into it. And let me show you my proven three-step process using stocks and options to create cash flow and build wealth. This strategy I'm going to share will remove all the guesswork and simplify the entire process. And I'm going to show you, number one, how to find high probability stocks. Number two, how to use simple indicators that tell you when to buy and when to sell those stocks. And number three, how to use options to create income for life from stocks you own and stocks you do not own while positioning yourself to capture profits on your stocks as well. And the gist behind this strategy is based on this fact. This is a chart of the S&P 500, which is a representation of the performance of the overall stock market, going back to 1928. On a, and on average, the market has produced an average return of 10% over time. Now, that does not mean 10% every year. That means it's up 15% one year, down 3% the next, up 18, down seven, et cetera. But if you smooth out those returns over time, the market has generated approximately a 10% rate of return. Or if you break that down, it has generated a 0.83% per month. And I will tell you for most people, 0.83% per month is simply not enough of a return to get them where they want to be financially. And by the way, on a side note, this may surprise you, but I can show you that a majority of people don't get close to 10% even when they're invested in the overall market, but that's an entirely different conversation. This is why thousands of people, that 0.83% per month is why thousands of people have embraced this simple option strategy in order to supercharge the returns and get them back on track financially and prepared for their financial future. And just so you know, I set up my trades to generate a targeted cash flow return of two to 4% just in cash flow on every trade, every seven to 14 days. And although I'm set to hit two to 4% in cash flow, many times I'll get more than that. And you can set up your trades to get a higher cash return, but mine are set for two to 4%. I set most of my trades to expire in under 14 days. And by the way, that two to 4% in cash flow does not, does not take into account any profits I may make on the stocks involved in the strategy. And you'll see what this all means in just a moment. So if my target is two to 4% just in cash flow every seven to 14 days, the question is, what's my annual return? So let's take the midpoint of 3%. At 3% every 14 days, that's 6% every month, which equals six times 12, 12 months in a year, or 72% per year just on cash flow. That is why this strategy is so popular with so many people versus the 10% on average per year or the 0.83% per month the overall market performs over time. So now you're probably thinking, uh, John, this all sounds interesting, but how much money do I need to implement this strategy? Well, it's not that much at all. It all depends on what companies you are using. And I'm gonna show you how to pick those stocks in a moment. But of course, just like any investment, the more money you have, the more you can make in this. But again, it doesn't require much to get started. With this strategy, you will need to buy or have cash to buy at least 100 shares of any stock you're using. And I trade on a range of stocks ranging from $5 per share to $340 per share, which would equate to a range of as little as $500 to $34,000 for this strategy because again, you're exposing yourself to 100 shares. And here's a few that I've used quite effectively. And please do not, this is not a recommendation. By the time you watch this, I may or may not be in any of them. 
You can see Rocket Lab top left at $5 per share, which would require a $500 investment all the way to Paycom, which is dead center in this chart at $340 per share, where you would need 34,000. Take a look at the stock in the middle at the bottom, C3.ai. It's an artificial intelligence stock. As of today, I just looked at it and it was paying over 6% in cash for a two week contract. And I get a question a lot. <clears throat> What's my average stock price of stocks that I use? And off the top of my head, I would say, the average price of my stocks is probably around 120 or $130 per share, which would mean about $12,000. But again, you can do this strategy for much less as you've just seen. So that's the overview of this masterclass and the system I'm about to show you that anyone can learn, implement, and succeed with. Are there risks? Absolutely. After all, you're dealing with the stock market and there are always risks when investing as, are, as there are in any investment you make. But this system is designed to minimize your overall risk and offer you downside protection if and when the stock market or your stocks do go down. So let's get into it. Now, for those who don't know me, just a quick overview. I've been mentoring people of all walks of life and all levels of wealth and income for over 28 years. I'm a personal advisor to, to Robert Kiyosaki and the Rich Dad organization, and Robert refers to me as his financial strategy expert. We've traveled the world together, speaking at various financial events, and it's been an honor sharing my methods and techniques and strategies to thousands of people all around the world. And I've also circled the globe in the world of investing and financial planning, having achieved a lot of success throughout my many, many years. Now, just to be clear, I don't say those things to impress you. I say that so you know you're not wasting your time here with someone pretending to be an expert. I've been in this world for over 28 years and I want to share my expertise with you right now. But before I get into my cash flow wealth building system, I have to say, and I know this firsthand from the people I meet everywhere, is that most people are not adequately prepared financially. Most hardworking people are very stressed out about their financial future because they're fearful they won't have enough money for their future. But here's what's going on at a much deeper level. And looking back at all the people I've coached over the years, there are four common themes that I see repeatedly, and I may add unnecessarily. And perhaps you fit into one of these or all of these, and if so, that's why you're here. And this is what I've seen. Number one, you need more cash flow. Perhaps you need more cash flow immediately. You're behind on your retirement goals. You desire a better lifestyle and you're sick of losing money. And I will tell you those specific concerns and challenges that people are facing is what I help people solve. So if any of those things resonate with you, you've come to the right place. But here's the big problem. Did you know that the median 401k balance, that's the retirement plan that most people have here in the US, the median balance for those 65 years and older is $89,000, $89,000 and that's it. I mean, how long will $89,000 last through the next 25 to 35 or even longer years in retirement? Not long, right? And today, a majority of pensions are significantly underfunded. And we're seeing pension benefits slash despite the promises that were made to the retirees. And what I've witnessed far too often is that too many people are using hope as the retirement strategy. And I will tell you, hope is not a strategy. And sadly, that's why we see so many elderly people still working at McDonald's or Walmart or some other minimum wage job when they should be at home enjoying the retirement they work so hard for. Most of the time it's because they hoped everything would work out on its own. And now we have social security on the brink of becoming insolvent by 2034. Now, just to be clear, I don't share all this negativity to scare you. That is not my point or intention at all. I share this with you to make you aware of what's happening or what could happen because too many people have no idea what's going on in the economy. They're not preparing themselves for the future and they definitely do not have a plan. That's why it's so important you have a strategy to not only weather any storm that comes, but to position yourself to thrive in any market environment so you can live with financial confidence and peace of mind. I mean, there is no better way to live. But the key is, no matter what income strategy or wealth building strategy you use, whether you go into real estate, open an online store, or in this case, stocks and options, you must do two things. 
And as simple as this sounds, this advice is critical to your success. In all the people I've studied and worked with, you must have a proven process that works. And secondly, you must take action. That's it. If you stick to a proven process and you take action, consistent action, your probability of success skyrockets and you will change your life. So let me just set the expectations here of what I'm gonna share with you and what this strategy is not and what this strategy is. First off, this strategy is not a get rich quick strategy. It's not a secret strategy I invented. It's certainly not day trading. It's not risky. Well, of course, there are risks, as I mentioned earlier, as there are in any investments you make, but using options can actually lower your risk in stock investing. And I'm gonna show you why in a moment. Next, it's not difficult to learn. And lastly, it's not time consuming to implement. Yes, there's a learning curve, but it's not that hard. And by the way, for myself, I may spend an hour or so per week on this. And I know many others spend a lot more time. The beauty of this system is that, is that it can fit within your own schedule. So it's totally up to you. But I will say, you're not staring at a screen all day, that's for sure. I like to compare this and, and say that this wealth building strategy is like riding a bike. Once you learn it, you'll have it forever. And that's what I show people. So let's talk about what this strategy is. This strategy is a well-documented and popular strategy used by thousands of investors. It's a process I learned and then codified into an easy to follow step-by-step -step system that anyone can learn. It's a strategy you can use for the rest of your life and hopefully pass on to others. And I encourage my students to do just that. And finally, it's a wealth building strategy to create consistent income and capture capital gains or profits. And I will say, if you invested 30 minutes a day learning this for the next several weeks, you could radically change your life for the better. 30 minutes. And as many students have said to me, they say, John, the system is like printing money. And I can't argue with it because they're right. So real quick, it's important you understand the backstory behind this strategy and the big picture. When my dad retired 32 years ago, rather than turning his retirement account over to a financial advisor, he managed his retirement account himself. As you can see in the photos, he was a former fighter pilot in the Korean War, and he retired as the CEO of a large bank in Hawaii. And to this day, now at 93 years old, he's still as sharp as a tack, still managing his portfolio very successfully with this strategy that I'm going to reveal to you in just a minute. And so when he retired, he had created a method to buy high quality stocks, many of which paid a dividend, very much the Warren Buffett approach to investing, which is buy and hold. And both he and I still have a significant amount of money in stocks that we rarely touch that climb over time while we collect the dividends. So 12 years ago, I guess it's 13 now, a friend of his suggested that my dad should look into options. And like so many people I meet, his immediate reaction was the same. No way, too risky, and way too complicated. And you may be thinking the same, and that's totally normal, but I wanna clear up that confusion right now. I'm going to do it in just a second. Because I can make a strong case, a very strong case, that using options is actually safer than not using options, and you'll soon learn why. But when my dad's friend told him, He's making around $120,000 per year using a simple option strategy that got my dad's attention. And that's when he went off and started studying options. And with the mentoring of his friend, within a very short period of time, my dad has been generating ten dollars to $15,000 per month consistently as a hobby for the past 12 years. Now at 93, he's still at it. And so far this year through July of 2023, he's been hitting around $20,000 consistently per month, again, as a hobby. There's actually a video on my website of him talking about this, and you may wanna check it out. So at that point in my career, I had about 20 years in the industry as a successful stock investor. And that's when I finally took the bait and had him show me what he was doing. And six years ago, that's when I started doing the same, generating thousands of dollars each month selling covered options on stocks I own and selling cash covered options on stocks I don't own. And very soon you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. And a few years later, that's when I decided to teach this to others. All right, so that's the backstory behind this. Let's shift gears and let's get into the world of investing 
revealing my system of using options and why I think this is an incredible way to generate cash flow and build wealth and secure your financial future. I break my simple three-step system down to what I refer to as the three pillars of wealth building. The first pillar is fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis is helping us find high quality stocks that we believe have significant upside. This is where we're looking for high probability stocks, arguably the most overlooked aspect of investing. By the way, this is not about hot stock tips because that is a losing strategy. But using technology, you can do this fundamental analysis in seconds to easily screen for high probability of stocks. And I look at my screen about every two weeks to find new stocks that hit my parameters. In fundamental analysis, I'm looking at four big picture things. First is company profitability, then it's company growth, the valuation of the company, and then what I call beyond the numbers. That's the analysts following the companies and the news. Now again, this all sounds like a lot of work, but by using preset screeners, you can do this literally in seconds. You're not rolling up your sleeves with a number two pencil and a pad of paper. I certainly don't have time for that, and I'm pretty sure you don't either. So basically, fundamental analysis is like a giant filtering process where I'm looking at the entire universe of stocks using technology to narrow it down to a dozen or so. By the way, even if you decided not to trade options, this system will give you a huge advantage in finding great stocks to own. The next pillar is technical analysis, and this is about when to buy and when to sell a stock you like. Because even if you find a great stock you love, that doesn't mean it's the best time to buy it. You wanna buy stocks at the right time and the right price, and technical analysis gives you that insight and that edge to do just that. And like fundamental analysis, Technical analysis is what separates average investors from the pros, and it's not difficult at all. You see, stocks tend to move in patterns and trends, and that's what technical analysis is all about. Essentially, they help you alert, confirm, and predict a stock's movement. And you'll find after some time practicing this, these charts will begin to talk to you and you'll be able to quickly see what to do with your stocks, whether to buy, sell, or just simply hold on to them. So out of the hundreds of or so available technical indicators, I use the following four. I use moving averages, the MACD, the RSI, which stands for Relative Strength Index, and lastly, we look at volume, namely a metric called On Balance Volume. That's it. And once your screening tool is set up, you're simply on autopilot. Just plug the stock in that you like into your preset screen and let the indicators tell you what to do. And let me just show you one of these. Here's the MACD, and you can see the signal patterns below in red and blue and the stock price above. And you can see as that red starts to turn blue, you can see the price movement in that stock, giving you both a buy and sell signal. The MACD is great, but I use them all in conjunction to confirm each other. Now. Do they work 100% of the time? No, of course not. But the reason we do this analysis and fundamental analysis isn't to guarantee we make money on every single trade. We use these tools and this process to significantly increase our probability of success over time and minimize our downside. So feel free to pause this and, to, and, and study this a bit. These are great tools to give you a huge advantage in the markets and they're not hard at all to use. Now, the third pillar is cash flow, and this is where the rubber meets the road. And this is where you're using options to supercharge your returns. And I will say it's sad that so many people are avoiding using options based on wrong preconceived beliefs. Because people who aren't using options, in my opinion, are leaving money on the table, and in many cases, a lot of money. So what's an option? An option is also known as a stock option or an equity option, it's really a contract between a buyer and a seller relating to a particular stock. And here's an overview of the benefits of using options. First, you can make money in any type of market environment, up, down, or sideways. You can generate consistent cash flow when you sell options, and that's what my system is all about. You can use options to capture capital gains or profits on stocks. You can use options to protect your individual stock holdings and your overall portfolio. It's like putting insurance on your stock portfolio. Options can give you significant leverage 
by offering cheaper exposure to a stock rather than buying shares outright. And lastly, options can lower the overall risk of your portfolio. And the best part is, once you learn this, you have this very powerful process and money-making tool or system for the rest of your life. All right, so let's break it down. There are two types of options. You have calls and you have puts, that's it, only two. You can buy calls and buy puts, or you can sell calls and sell puts, or you can do a multitude of those four things. And it's those combinations that can make option trading complicated and add more risk. And I think it's these combinations that people hear about that spook them from options. But that's not what I do, we do, or teach. I stay far and clear away from any of that. I don't do any of those exotic strategies. This is a basic income generating, wealth building option strategy. And the basis of my strategy that I use is simply selling calls on stocks I own and selling puts on stocks I don't own. My process is not about buying calls or buying puts. Now, I'm not against buying calls or buying puts because that can be a powerful strategy to use, and a lot of people do that. But I'll show you with an example in a moment why I strongly prefer and recommend selling options rather than buying options. But first, I need to explain some key terms, and these will make more sense when I show you a few examples in just a moment. The first is the strike price. This is the agreed upon price at which the stock will be bought or sold. The second is the expiration date. As it sounds, it's the particular date at which the option contract will expire. And third, the premium. This is the amount of money it costs you to buy a call or put option, or it's the amount of money you receive for selling a call or a put option. And you'll understand what all these mean, all this means in a moment when I show you a few examples. And lastly, options trade in contracts. And one option contract is the equivalent of controlling 100 shares of the underlying stock. And one more thing, options expire on Friday. So let's put this all together with an example. Now, if you recall what I said earlier, my strategy involves selling calls and selling puts. But in order for you to grasp how options work, we have to walk before we run, right? In other words, you have to understand the basics of how a call and put works. So I'm gonna start by explaining what buying a call and buying a put is. And the first lesson is this, you would buy a call if you thought the stock was going up and you would buy a put if you thought the stock was going down. It's that simple. And you can make money on stocks that go up and down using calls and puts. That's the beauty of options. So let's look at an example of buying a call. So let's say I found a stock I really like and my fundamental and technical analysis told me this stock was going up. And in this case, the stock was trading at $110 per share. But I didn't want to risk spending $11,000 to buy 100 shares. Maybe I didn't have $11,000, but I still wanted in on this stock. And I still wanted to profit off this stock. That, again, is the beauty of these options. You can use a fraction of the money to control the same number of shares. So in this case, I bought a call option on that stock. I set my strike price at $110. And remember, that's the price I can buy that stock anytime from now until the expiration. Even if that stock goes to the moon, it goes to $300 per share, I can still buy it at $110 per share. I'm locked in. And in this case, I chose a 30-day expiration. And the premium, in other words, the cost to do this, was $2.41 per contract or $241 in total since one contract equals 100 shares. So in this example, my analysis was right and that stock climbed nicely to $135 per share. Now, I could have ended this contract anytime from the day I started to the expiration date, but in this example, I waited until expiration. So at the end of this contract, I could have done a few, I could have done a few things. I could have either bought 100 shares at 110, although it's currently trading at 135 per share, and immediately sell it for a $25 profit. Or I could buy the shares at 110 and hold on to them, thinking the stock was going to go even higher. Or I could exercise this contract at 135 per share and again pocket that $25 per share or $2,500 since I owned 100 shares. Now, of course, my net profit wouldn't be $2,500 
Because again, remember, this contract cost me $241. So if you sub subtract the $241 from the $2,500, you would net $2,259. So if you think about that, that's almost 10 times your money. That's the leverage you have when you're buying calls. Oh, and I'd be remiss if I didn't share this with you. There are commissions on these trades that you will have to pay, but they've come so far down over the years. Right now, I'm paying 40 cents per option contract. It's nothing. You may have to pay a little higher. I think it all depends on how much money you have at your firm, but you need to check with your brokerage firm to confirm your commission rate. So that's how buying a call works. You have exposure to stocks for a fraction of what it would have cost you had you bought the stocks outright. That's the leverage. And in this case, instead of risking $11,000 to buy 100 shares of the stock, my risk was only $241. Now, in the interest of time, I don't wanna get into buying puts because I wanna to get to the heart of my trading system. But if you really wanna learn about buying puts, send me a message and I'll send you a few slides and a video on how they work. So let's get to the gist of what I do and teach which is selling covered calls and selling cash covered puts. And I'll explain what this means and how it works in just a moment. Here, we're on the other side of the transaction. Instead of buying the option, we're the ones selling the option contract to the option buyer. And now we're receiving that premium income. So again, instead of paying a premium when we bought the option, now we're on the receiving end of that premium and we get to keep that premium income no matter what. So for now, let's talk about selling covered calls. And this is the fun stuff. This is where all my students say, ah, now I get it, John. This is where everything comes together and people's eyes light up and they now see clearly the cash flow and the wealth building opportunity. So a covered call is when you sell someone else the right to purchase shares of stock that you own, hence that's why it's called covered, and they would buy those shares from you at a specified price, that's the strike price, at any time on or before a specified date. That's the expiration date. As we talked about, the payment you receive in exchange is called a premium, which you keep regardless of whether your stock is taken away from you or not. And that income can be significant and reoccurring. And I'm gonna show you the reoccurring part in just a moment. So let's look at an example. As I mentioned earlier, my goal on every trade, how I set up my trades, is to generate approximately 2 to 4% every 7 to 14 days just on premium income. But many times, I can do a lot better than that. And again, that does not count any profits I may receive as well on the stocks I own. By the way, on a side note, sometimes you'll find a great stock, but it doesn't pay a good premium because not all stocks pay the same premium. And if that's the case and I really like that stock, I'll simply buy that stock in my passive portfolio, or in other words, my buy and hold portfolio. So let's look at a covered call example. And remember, it's called covered because you own the underlying shares, at least 100 shares, so you can sell one contract. And in this example, I chose a 30-day expiration. And I purchased 100 shares of XYZ Corp at $100 per share. And I chose my strike price at $115 per share. And again, that's the price my stock would be taken away from me if it hits that or goes above that on or before expiration. And for selling this contract, I immediately receive $625 in premium income. And I get to keep that no matter what. On a percentage basis, that's a 6.25% return just on the income. And again, that doesn't any, include any capital gains I may receive in the future. So in this example, here's what happened. That stock, took off and went through my strike price up to $125 per share. So my stock got taken away from me at $115 per share. Now, you may be thinking immediately, well, John, you just gave up that $10 gain. And some people get very annoyed about that, including my dad. We have great debates about this. I, on the other hand, do not mind. I'm in this to consistently make cash flow and profits on my stock and move on. I made $625 in premium instantly. I sold 100 shares at a $15 gain for $1,500 for a total gain of $2,125 in 30 days. That's a 21.25% return. This is why I love selling options. 
Now, yes, that stock's at 125 today, and you could say there's an opportunity cost of $10 today, but would I have sold it at 125? Probably not. Could it come down and that $10 in additional profits, paper profits, be wiped away? Absolutely. I mean, there's so many things that could happen. But in this case, I'm not looking back. I'm very happy about my profits, and now I move on to the next stock. Now that I'm out of this stock, I'm out of XYZ Corporation, I'll either buy it back or wait for a pullback and then get back in and sell another covered call. You can see you can just do this over and over and over again on the same stocks that you're following. And let me show you this. This is what's called an option chain. This is where you go to determine what expiration date and strike price you want because you control those variables and what the premium you would receive would be. And let me break this down and make it really simple. And any brokerage platform will have this available. In fact, you can get this on the internet as well outside of a brokerage firm. So let's review this option chain for Amazon. Here we have Amazon trading at $114.10 per share. And let's just call it 114 and make the numbers easier. And that's what I paid to buy 100 shares of Amazon. And now I'm using this option chain to sell a covered call for instant income. So I bought 100 shares of Amazon at 114, in this case on Thursday, October 20th. And based on my analysis, I decided to sell a covered call expiring on the following Friday, October 28th. Remember, all option contracts expire on Friday. So I had nine days until this contract would expire. And by the way, I could set my expirations for basically whenever I want, well over a year if I wanted to, but typically I like to keep my covered call and covered put contracts under 14 days. Now, there are some companies that do not offer weekly options and only offer 30-day options. And in that case, if I really like the stock and the premiums, I'll make an exception. And by the way, when selling options, the longer the expiration you choose, the more premium you will receive. So in this case, I then started looking at strike prices. And again, this would be the share price that my stock would be taken away from me. And if you look at the volume in the open interest columns, you can see there's a lot of interest in the $120 strike price based on volume of trades. But if you scroll across, the premium I would receive is paying approximately $2.65 per contract or $265. Now, $265 is not bad for a nine day contract, but I wanted a little bit more than that. So I decided to take a look at the strike price of $119 per share that paid me roughly $3 per share or $300 in premium. That's a 2.6% instant return just on the income. And by the way, if you were to annualize that 2.6%, you're looking at a 98% annualized return. Now remember, I own that stock at $114. So if that stock rises above 119 from now until expiration, which is next Friday, that's the price my stock will be taken away from me. So if that happened and you add it all up, that's, the, that's premium income of $300 plus my profit on the sale of $500 or a total of $800. That's a 7% return in just nine days. Remember what we discussed earlier, that the overall stock market returns on average 10% in a year? That's the power of, of options. Now, if Amazon doesn't hit $119, this contract will expire worthless, at which point I would simply sell another covered call on the stock I still owned for more income. So that's selling a covered call, a very powerful and popular way to generate instant cash flow while positioning yourself for profits on the stocks you own. In a second, I wanna share with you another awesome way to not only generate instant income, but also to buy stocks at a more favorable price, right? Because that's the name of the game when buying and selling stocks. We wanna buy low and sell high. And this next strategy positions us to do just that. But first, let's do a quick recap of my three-step process. So, so far we've covered step one, which is fundamental analysis to help us identify high probability stocks. Step two, this is technical analysis using indicators to tell us when to buy and when to sell our stocks. And step three, which is selling options to generate instant income and generate profits. That's it, wash, rinse, and repeat. Now, 
Let's turn it up a notch. You ready? All right, as I mentioned a moment ago, I wanna share with you something that's really cool and let's talk about selling cash covered put options. Not calls, but selling put options. Again, another great way to generate instant income and also buy stocks at a more favorable price. Let me explain with an example. And let's take a look at a company I've been personally in and out of called Super Micro Computer. Ticker symbol is SMCI. Again, this is not a recommendation. So at the time, it was trading at $255 per share, but I didn't wanna pay $255 per share. I think that was too high. I believe a fair price and what I would feel comfortable owning this at is $245 per share, $10 under the current price. So here's a condensed option chain for puts on SMCI. And remember, I'm looking to buy this stock at $245. That's the strike price. That's the price I would be willing and obligated to buy it at. And I would be selling one put contract in this example. For doing this, for selling this one contract with a strike price of $245, I would pocket immediately approximately $8.91 for this contract, which would equate to $891 of income immediately. This contract happened to be for 16 days, right around my 14 day limit. And if you do the math, that's a 3.6% return basically in two weeks. And I'll take that all day long. And that 3.6% return was just on cash flow. Now, if Supermicro drops to $245 or below, I will have to buy that stock at $245. And that's great because now I'm buying a great company at a much more favorable price. And assuming it goes back up, my profits on the stock increase significantly than had I bought it at $255 per share. But my risk is it drops below 245 and I still have to buy it at 245. But you know what, I'm okay with that. I like the company. My fundamental and technical analysis told me the stock has huge upside. And unless there's some bad news or some really negativity that came out about the company, I wouldn't worry about a short term drop. And by the way, if and when I end up buying the stock at $245 in this example, and I now own the stock, I'll simply turn around and sell a covered call on that stock and generate more premium income. You can see how you can kind of go back and forth between selling puts and calls on the same stock, creating that reoccurring income over and over and over again and capturing profits along the way. So that's selling a cash covered put versus selling a covered call, and I do both. Now, I'm gonna wrap this up with a concept that ties all of this together, so stay tuned. But first, let's quickly recap the difference between a covered call and a covered put. Selling a covered call requires you to sell your stock if it hits your strike price at or before expiration. Selling a covered put requires you to buy your stock if it hits your strike price at or before expiration. Both generate instant income and both give you the opportunity to make profits on your stocks as well. Now, as we wrap up, let me share with you this concept that kind of ties everything together and it's called the wheel strategy. Now, this example is a hypothetical, of course, but it's the concept I want you to see and understand. And it's simply selling a put on a stock that you like and pocketing that premium income immediately, right? Just as we previously discussed. And assuming that contract expires worthless, you do it again, pocketing more premium income. So you're selling puts on stocks you like and you keep following that stock as it creeps up, selling more and more puts, creating more and more premium income in your pocket. Now, eventually that stock comes down, right? And now you're forced to buy 100 shares of that stock at a more favorable price. Well, now you own that stock, you can now sell a covered call on that stock you own for even more premium income. Now, eventually, normally that stock will rise up and it'll be get, get called away from you and you'll be forced to give it up for a profit. Now, you don't own the stock and you're back to selling puts again, following that stock while you continue to generate more and more income. Again, the stock drops and again, you're forced to buy the stock, which you will then sell another covered call for more premium income, and the cycle continues. And here's why it's called the wheel strategy. 
Again, this is a hypothetical, but it's the concept I want you to understand. And you can roll these over and over and over again, going back and forth between selling calls and selling puts on the same stock, generating consistent income and profits along the way. And I'll say this isn't hard once you learn the terms and you practice it a bit. And by the way, I highly, highly recommend you paper trade or virtually trade before you put any real money to work here. So folks, that's it. That's the power of selling covered calls and covered puts. So let's wrap this all up. So there you have it. That's my system on how I and many others generate consistent cash flow and capture profits using the simple option strategy that anyone can learn in a fraction of your time. Again, it's like riding a bike. Once you get this, it's yours for life. And as I said earlier, if you invested just 30 minutes a day for a few weeks, you could be well on your way to changing your life forever. And if you're serious about this and you want to schedule a time with me to talk more about this and how I can guide you, whether it's one-on-one -on -one privately or via the online course, click the button below and pick a time that works for you to speak. Well, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned something from it. And again, if you know someone who you think could benefit from this, please forward this on. You could be doing someone you care about a huge favor. So with that, I wish you all the very best for an amazing future. Take care.